shows that are incredibly inspiring and it's when I can see that what I'm doing is affecting people. I love DJing, I love sharing this passion and this music and this energy with these people. I love uplifting them, I love inspiring them to have fun, to not take things so seriously. The nightclub is this magical place where everyone can come and be together and dance and be themselves. And it's like we get to shed all these like titles and labels and bullshit at the door and just be liberated, you know, unified people enjoying the same beat. We were born into this box. We didn't choose the color of our skin. We didn't choose the culture, the religion that, you know, we were taught while we were growing up. We didn't even choose our own names. So try to go back to square one and say, well, who am I? Who do I want to be? I suppose what I'm doing is a bit of an experiment in identity. DJ Rannon is my brand, but she's also me. I've been DJing for 15 years and I only just started to make a profit, if you can believe it. There were definitely obstacles um, and I just chose to overcome them. I mean, one of them was that DJing is a male dominated industry and I wanted in. I started DJing, I collected vinyl for seven, eight years, taught myself how to do it. At some point in Vancouver where I grew up and first started DJing, I just, I don't know, I guess I hit the infamous glass ceiling. <laughs> One day these girls came to town, they were DJs, but they were being marketed as being Playboy models. And lots of people came to meet them and see them play. And I went as well and I was thoroughly disappointed with the level of DJ skill that was happening. And I saw all of these weird and wonderful places that they were DJing all over the world. I thought, what? Like, I, that should be me. Like, I'm a way better DJ than these girls. Like, why are they getting all these opportunities? You know, and I was DJing for like 100, 200 bucks a night. Like, 200 bucks is a great night. I just kept watching these girls online, you know, and to see where they were going, what they were doing, and I thought, yeah, I want that. So, so in the end, I, you know, quit crying on the sidelines and tied up my shoelaces and got in the game. I was, like, intimidated by the idea. I was a little bit scared. Up until then, I was the golden child with the straight A's, played soccer, it was bilingual, and had graduated from university with honors, and then, oh, she poses for Playboy. Like, <laughs> the world's over. <laughs> there was so much press, and, like, people wanted me to sign autographs, and it was just like, this is so ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I did a photo shoot, you know? I did a photo shoot. I'm still the same. Person. I still DJ the same way, but yet I'm getting more appreciation for it. It's funny how just choosing to breach the limitations of my comfort actually taught me so much. I realized that what I'd done was not a terrible thing. It was not a sin. It was only liberating to me and it enhanced my life. I don't have a manager, a record label, anyone telling me what to do, what to wear, what to say. 
I own my brand. I own my image. I'm I'm choosing all of this. Five times a dime in the candy shop. Five times a shine, I never stop. I got that chop, my cheeky pop. Go down smooth like a cherry drop. You a slut, me entrepreneur. My sugar sell, cause my sugar pure. Sling it, work it, sip it, twerk it. I be on that lemon nerd. Sex has become a commodity. Sex has been colonized by men, just as music has. EDM, electronic dance music, has become huge. DJs are like the new rock stars. But if you look at sort of like the top 100 DJ list, for example, it's absolutely still dominated by men. And, you know, I'm trying to break into that scene and make it my own. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my world. This shit is about to get nasty. So if you're feeling sassy, take your shirt off, shake your tits. If you've heard some of my songs before, you know that they are a little different. <laughs> Not particularly radio friendly. Some of the titles, for example, are Nasty Bitch, Like a Slut, all the girls do it, which talks about pussy a lot. Please it, please it, then just seize it on that pussy. Uh. Ain't nothing to it, cause all of the girls do it, cause all of the girls do it. Cause I'm out to destroy that virgin whore dichotomy. People will meet me in person, and I feel like they think they're meeting like the virgin, you know, like happy and friendly and whatever. And then they'll watch my music videos and be like, wow, she's kind of a whore, you know? <laughs> girls do it. I guess DJ Rhiannon is an exaggerated and liberated version of Rhiannon. I guess that's a good way of describing her. <laughs> I know who I am. I'm very grounded and I understand what I'm doing. And yes, I'm wearing a mask, but I'm aware of it. We are women and we're living in a patriarchal society and we were born into this box, but I'm not gonna let these sort of boundaries prevent me from doing what I want to do or being who I want to be. I'm actually going to use them to my advantage. <laughs> Like that, 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 like that,